I just got finished making a video on, uh, on, on what I believe and what I see uh, that's going on in the markets, uh, and, you know, as far as silver and gold, because it's a concern for a lot of people. But I want to let you in on something. I want to let you in on something that maybe uh, you may have never thought about this before. All of us have to actually really truly look at the reason why that we're in investing in gold and silver in the first place. We really truly do. I mean, are we investing in gold and silver simply because we want to make a quick dollar and make a quick buck right now and enjoy uh, the fruits of the investment right now? Or are we, or are we doing this for long-term investment? I mean, that's the real question. Are we in this for the long haul? I'll give you an example. Maybe it would help you a little bit to think a little bit. When you work for a company, or you have your own particular retirement account that you're investing in, whether it be an IRA, um, or you have a 401k, or whatever it is. You know, you know that you cannot draw that money that the company puts in, as well as um, what you pay into until you become a retirement age. It's amazing how that we can sit and wait for the maturity of Anything we invest in, whether it be mutual funds, a 401k, we can wait all the way up to we're 60 something years old. And, and then we'll go, okay, good. You know, I, I, I worked all my life, I invested, now I've got a retirement account. Um, but then when it comes to the metals market, all of a sudden, um, you know, we lose our mind. We literally lose our mind and go, oh, and, and we become more volatile than the volatility that is taking place in the actual market itself. We have a lot of things that we need to change Change right here. I'm talking about a sincere paradigm shift. We have a lot of things we need to evaluate ourselves on and look at and, and see how we perceive things today. Uh, because when I buy gold and silver, I don't buy it for the intention of selling it right now because it's a long-term investment. At least it is for me. Uh, it, it, it helps me to preserve my purchasing power over time. You think about the 401k or your stocks, your bonds, your mutual funds, your IRAs, no matter what IRAs, no matter what you invest in, you don't pay attention to the volatility of what it's doing going up and down, up and down and stuff because you just simply put it in there and leave it alone. You're going to have anxiety fits and attacks if you sit and watch the manipulation of this market right here since the dollar is tanking. Can't you see, and I said it once, said it a thousand times, that the fundamentals are uh, haven't changed. Everything is still the same. It's still the same. We're in debt. The whole world is in debt. Central banks all across this world is amassing extraordinary amounts of, of, of debt, as well as some of them intelligent. Those who are outside of the European countries and stuff, they are literally investing in gold and silver. That's what they're doing. Uh, they are amassing gold and silver. They're taking their betting on gold and silver. But you can't expect the news media. You can't expect the people, even in this country right here, uh, to tell you the truth. Uh, about what's really truly going on because they want you to continue to keep investing in the dollar. They want you to keep your hopes in the dollar. And if you look at the history of the United States of America, they're not going to tell you anything until it's too late. It's like over in Cyprus. All the millionaires and all the people who had money, they had a chance to get their money out. But hey, it's austerity measures for you and I, the poor folks. So look at how you perceive and how you see things in life especially when it comes to this right here. And see, if you chose to invest in dollars, take those dollars, put them aside and stick them in the bank, and you amass somehow ten dollars or $20,000 uh, over a 10-year period, do you think you really, truly have actually gained anything? Do you really, truly believe that, that you've actually gained something? No, you haven't. You've actually lost, and you have lost your rear end. Because you can't purchase the same amount of goods and services today with $10,000 than you could 10 years ago. So even that in itself is showing you how bad the dollar is as far as an investment goes. And if you'd have bought silver 10 years ago when it was seven, five, six, seven, eight dollars an ounce, and you look at it today, you would have seen how good of an investment that silver has really been for you and I'm going to tell you right now that we are still in a bull market. Did y'all hear what I said? We are still in a silver and gold bull 
market. Sure, we have certain corrections, we have certain pullbacks, but we are in a bull market. Hallelujah. Hey, and by the way, some of you want to sell 50 ounces of silver? Hallelujah. You send it to me, I promise you, because I'm a man of my word, I will send you the Federal Reserve notes on the silver you want to sell me. Now, I don't have much money, so I can only take two of y'all who want to take me up on that at today's prices right now. I hope you have a good day and seriously think about what I said. King coming.